Hey, what's happening guys and welcome to your 11th Bootstrap 4 tutorial and in this video we're going to talk about navbars. Okay then, so Bootstrap wouldn't be Bootstrap if it didn't come baked with a navbar component. So let's take a look at how we can create one with Bootstrap 4. So the first thing we're going to need to do is create some kind of surrounding wrapper for the navbar. This can be a div if you want, but I'm going to prefer to use a nav element because it's just more semantic. So where are we going to put this nav? It's going to be right at the top up here. So I want to come above the Jumbotron. So let's scroll right to the top. Just after the opening body tag, let's create this nav element. So nav, there we go. Now this nav element is going to have a few classes. So I'm just going to talk through these first of all, then we're going to add them in. So the first one is going to be a class of navbar. This is the main navbar class that Bootstrap uses to give us the navbar styles. Then it's going to have a class of navbar hyphen toggable hyphen SM. This tells Bootstrap that we're going to want the navbar to be a drop down toggable nav with a toggle button from small screen sizes and down. Then we're going to give it a class of BG hyphen info. And that's how it gets that background color like this, because this is BG hyphen info background color as well. We want it to be the same blue. So that's going to tell Bootstrap to sort that out for us. Then we're going to use a class of navbar inverse uh, to just change the color of the links. So let's add those in. So first of all, I said it was navbar for the overall styles. Then it's going to be navbar hyphen toggle apple hyphen SM to say that it's toggleable for small screens and down. Then it's going to be BG info. So that means that it's going to get that blue color. And then finally, navbar inverse. And I tell you what, I'm going to just delete that one so you can see the difference first of all, and we'll add it in later. Okay, so there's our nav sorted. Now we need to put some things inside it. So this nav, if we save it, you're probably not going to see it on the screen, but it's going to stretch all the way across from left to right because it's not inside a container. However, we want the links and content with inside the navbar to be within this central column right here. So what do we need to do? We need to add in a container within this nav. Make sense? So let's do a div with a class equal to container. Then everything is going to go inside this class. So the first thing I'm going to do is add in a button. And this is going to act as some kind of toggle button for small screen sizes so that it shows and hides the content, right? So let's create a button. And then again, this needs to have a class this time it's going to be navbar hyphen toggler. Okay. And then we're going to also have to say data hyphen toggle. And that's going to be equal to collapse. This basically tells Bootstrap the behavior we want this button to take on. It's going to open and close a collapsible element. Then we're going to give this a target. What do we want to open and close? What do we want to collapse? So we'll say data hyphen target. And I'm going to set this equal to an ID called nav or rather main nav. OK, so we've not created the ID yet. But when we do, that's what this button is going to control. So let's close that now. And then inside, what we're going to use is a span class of navbar oops, equals navbar hyphen toggler hyphen icon. So this is a bootstrap class, which is going to give us a little icon, which looks like a burger now three lines on top of each other, right? So we're going to see that in action later on. But let's now create the links or the container rather that this is going to control. So we'll say div. Now this needs to have a class of collapse. This is the thing that's going to collapse, right? And also navbar hyphen collapse to associate it with a navbar. So it's not just a collapsible element anywhere on a page. It's a collapsible navbar, right? Also, we need to give it this thing here, this ID main nav, because that is what this button is going to collapse, right? So ID equals main nav. Cool. So now this button is going to be controlling the collapse of this and the opening of this just on small screens. OK, because we've said SM right there, small screens. OK, cool. So now we need to create the actual links, if you like. And to do that, we're going to have a surrounding class and then the links inside it. OK, so we'll say div class equals. Then this needs a class of navbar hyphen nav. 
and that will do. So this is the nav within the nav bar, a nice way to remember it, okay? And then in here, we're just gonna paste some links. Now, I'm just gonna copy and paste these instead of you watch me type them all out. So I'll paste them here. These are all on the GitHub page, by the way. Um, I think it's lesson 11 branch, so you can just go ahead and download this if you want. So you'll notice each one of these anchor tags has a class of nav hyphen item, first of all. This is telling Bootstrap that this is an item within the navigation, just a standard class. This is used to style them. Then it's got an, uh, a class of nav link as well. Again, just saying that this is a link within the navigation. This active class right here is saying that this is the active one. This is where we are. So this is similar to when we created a nav down here and we said one of them was active with the blue pill around it. Similar kind of thing as this thing right here. This is the active one. This is where we are at the minute, okay? So we've done each one of those. They've all got a href of just a pound symbol at the minute, but you would replace this if you have different page URLs with the URL that you want this link to go to. So we've got home, about, training, and content, all going absolutely nowhere. Cool. So this is our navbar. That's all there is to it. So if I save this now and check this out in a browser, we're going to see these links right here. And remember, I took off that inverse class, that navbar inverse class, because I wanted to show you this before. But if I place it back in here now, navbar hyphen inverse, save this, we're going to see the colors of this change to white and gray, which I think kind of looks better with this blue background. All right, cool. So there's our navigation. Looks fine for desktop. And if we shrink it now down to a mobile size, you're going to notice this thing right here. This icon is this class right here, this span, right? And the whole thing is this button, this element right here that we're saying is going to control the toggle or the collapse of this thing right here. So if we click on this button now, then we're going to see that thing open up and show all of those links. And then if we click on it again, it's going to hide it. And it's going to work for small screen sizes and down. And then when it gets to medium screen sizes and upwards, we're going to get these links right here. So there we go, guys. That is how we create a simple nav bar in Bootstrap. There are tons more options we can use in nav bars. We can add search um, bars in them buttons if you like, loads of different things. So what I advise you to do is go to the Bootstrap 4 web uh, documentation. As always, the link is down below. And then just go to navbar right here, not navs. Navs are what we covered in the last tutorial, navbar this time. They've got some different options, so you can read all about them here. You can add a brand if you like in the top left, uh, forms like I said, different things. And uh, yeah, it's really simple to pick up.